This episode is the first part of the Java 8 Streams cookbook, and you'll learn what streams are, how to create them, and how to perform the most common operations on them, like filtering and mapping and so on. So let's get started. In the accompanying project, you'll find a POTUS class, and POTUS stands for President of the United States. You'll also find a POTUS test class, and in here you'll see you have a list of presidents of the United States, and it's basically the last 10 or so presidents, and a president has, as you can see, a first name like Donald, a last name Trump, an election year 2016, and the party Republican in the case of Donald Trump. So far, so good, but now you want to do a couple of interesting things with these presidents. So create a new test method and simply call it filter map limit distinct collect. And that's the things you're going to do with them. And now the first thing to do is creating a stream from that list. And it's rather simple. You can simply call potuses.stream. And imagine you now want to find all the presidents before election year 2000. So you basically want to get all these presidents. And streams have a filter method, and they allow you to do just that, to filter the stream. And you'll have to specify a predicate, that means a function that will be called on every POTUS, of, on every president of the United States, to see if it qualifies. So you can simply write a lambda saying, you want to check that POTUS.getElectionYear is less than 2000. And here's a quick note, if you're coming from other programming languages, you could mean that filter actually filters out objects of the uh, stream of your collection, but stream.filter actually includes objects in the stream. So every POTUS with election year less than 2000 will be included in the resulting stream. Good. Now we have a stream of POTUSes. And imagine you only are interested in the last name of the president. So you want to see Clinton, Bush, Reagan, and Carter, and not, the, not get the whole object. And you can do that quite simply. You call map, which again executes a function every item of the, of the stream. And you want to call a function potus, potus, get last name, which will in fact turn every president into his last name. Now two things. First of all, let's rearrange the code a tiny bit, makes it a bit easier to read. So you have the stream, you filter the stream, then you map the stream. And as you can see, there's a tiny suggestion that IntelliJ shows, and you can replace the Lambda with a method reference. I find the Lambda sometimes easier to read, especially for newbies, but you can write the same thing saying, well, map every POTUS to POTUS get last name. It has the very same effect. Good, and now finally let's see that it actually worked. So let's call for each, and what you just learned, call system out and another method reference, println, which hopefully will print out every president's name, last name to the console. Run the test, wait a second, then let's see what the console says, and you'll get Clinton, Clinton, Bush, Reagan, Reagan, Carter. And these match exactly the presidents with the Election year less than 2000. Good. Now to clean things up a little bit more, let's say you don't want to have Reagan twice or Clinton twice. You only want to see their names once. And that's also quite simple. You can, after all, call distinct on a stream, which will make sure there are no duplicates in the stream defined by the object equals method. Good. Let's run the test again. And this time you only see Clinton, Bush, Reagan, and Carter. So the duplicates are gone, great. And now imagine you're only interested in three presidents since or before 2000. Also quite simple, you can simply call limit three, run the test again. And this time you only see Clinton, Bush, Reagan, and Jimmy Carter just dropped off the list. Great. Now there's a last note. Whenever people or some people work with streams, they're tempted to always collect back into lists. So because after all, if you extract that to a variable, you'll see you get a stream, a stream of strings, which is fine. But people usually want to work with collections. So they call collectors to list. So they convert the stream back to a list. Now you have a list of things 
and then they simply call for each on that list again or do something with the list. And it's one thing you should avoid if you can avoid it and simply operate on the stream and not convert back and forth between lists and stream or other collections and streams and so on. Congratulations, you just had a quick intro to Java 8 streams. And in the next episode, we'll look at different methods that you can execute on streams. And it's the find methods or the match methods, any match, none match, and so on. So let's get right after that.